and them are being displayed in the main area of yep from here i can narrow my search i can move away tags by just clicking on them i can set a few certain rating for my documents and i can even set where i want to look for new files this is the probably the most advanced feature and the most awesome feature of the products of our ironic software because they have a technology or a function they are calling go deep and this is basically you go let's say you go to file documents and you see now that the photo structure is being displayed in an outline view and every folder which has documents in them with the currently selected few options like in my case I only like to use documents which have the 1991 tag assigned to them are actually are not grayed out by the outline view and this is just awesome because what you're typically doing with spotlight is you let's say you're searching for a file then you're you know you go inside the search field and you search for a file and what you are getting is just you know a list of files which have basically nothing in relation to each other you click on one item and you see on the lower corner where this file is and the way the app displays the PDFs is much more natural to me and it's I think it's just brilliant from here we can narrow our search by either selecting another file type here in my case I can't select any new file types but I can narrow my search by entering some text here like let's say a tag 1990 and now you see that I'm getting only the documents displayed which have the 1990 text in them you may have seen that this is a little awkward this could be done more easily I just go back and add another tag to my search now we have two tags we are searching for and the main view here displays the PDF file which has both tags assigned to them. Okay, let's remove this search. You see here on my folder structure, I have, uh, I'd like to keep an overview of my documents by having a folder hierarchy that is basically ordered by year. This is because I have, i show you a picture now. This is a folder I have in my room and my room is currently a mess because I'm moving and you see I have created one year folders for every year for every single year where I keep all the documents for that year inside and this is being displayed in yep the application and what I'd like to do here is I just select to file documents click on new folder and then I enter a new year a folder is being created on my computer I now can easily just select the 1988 tag and drop that file inside that folder and when I remove the search key and go inside the folder you see that yep has moved that PDF file inside that folder I can go up one level by clicking this button but I would have assumed that you find that out by yourself. The other cool features of YEP are you can actually narrow your search by sorting the items that were found by name or by type or ascending or descending or you can even select some more advanced viewing settings by clicking on the viewing tabs here and in my opinion this is just brilliant in yep you can use it to in my case I use it use my folders to keep track of all documents which are important to me like my school certificates or my invoices I've uh, given to customers of me or you could even 
keep track of documents which are needed to be managed because you're writing a master thesis or a bachelor thesis or your doctor's thesis. And in my case, I just like to use it for keeping track on my important documents and on my invoices and receipts. And this is just brilliant. If I'd like to view my invoices, I just select the invoice tag here. You see that the tag view already has uh, narrowed the search to the tags which are now available and there I can just select another tag like podcast or the year the document was being given to the customer and I can again you know hold down the alt key to view that page okay this was it for this screencast I hope you like yep a lot uh, I do <laughs> and what you like about YAP, please tell us in the comments and you have the chance to win one of three free licenses for this brilliant application. I hope you enjoy Mac OS X screencasts in 2010 and have fun with the site and our screencasts. Bye bye.